eight YouTubers who got trapped in the back rooms. And number one, we have Jojo Siwa. And recently, she actually found the back rooms and got trapped inside. Make sure you keep on watching until the end because you must see what happens to Sniper Wolf after she fell off the roller coaster. Good old fashioned clickbait, a rampant issue on YouTube, and the best G Fuel flavor. And no, that's not up for discussion, all right? Now, I'm sure if you've been on YouTube for any period of time, at some point, you yourself fell victim to clickbait. It happens to the best of us, and sometimes it's not too bad. Like, sometimes you'll read a title and you're like, okay, fair enough. Technically, that did happen, just not how I was expecting. And then there's other times when you get a YouTube video titled, uh, I don't know, Sniper Wolf fell off the roller coaster, with a thumbnail of Sniper Wolf being flung off a moving roller coaster, and then you click on the video, and what the title and thumbnail are referring to is a clip of Sniper Wolf reacting to somebody going down a water slide. Now, I don't know about you guys, but those two things seem a little bit too different for me, and that is literally all the channel links he is. The most egregious clickbait you've ever seen that doesn't even make an attempt to try and match the title to the video. Now, I talked about Linksy a couple of months ago, and I recently went to go see if he's still doing the things we were talking about months ago, and uh, yeah. He is. And today we're going to be looking at a few of my favorite offenders. But before we begin, I want to talk about today's video sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. And now listen here, boys and girls. Raid Shadow Legends is what every other mobile game wishes it could be. Have you ever wanted to be able to take a triple A quality game on the go? Something you could dive into and play at any time? Well, now you can with Raid Shadow Legends. You can explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and even PvP arena matches. Now, being a high-level collection RPG, raids started off with hundreds of unique characters and bosses as is, but since their beginning, raid has added more and more and more. The game receives constant updates of brand new champions with unique designs and unique animations. The lore of the game is constantly being updated, with last year, raid adding an entirely new faction of the game, the Shadowkin. And I don't know about you guys, but Shadowkin? Really? That might be one of the coolest names I've ever heard. And it's not just characters being added to the game, there's constantly new ways to play the game being added as well. Just like the addition of the Doom Tower, a game mode that brought more terrifying bosses to slay that sprawls over 120 levels, bringing a challenge for even the most seasoned players. Just this month, a giant new feature, Awakening, in a brutal new dungeon, the Iron Twins Fortress was added. If you're able to traverse through the dungeon successfully, you'll see a huge payoff, the ability to awaken your champions. This new feature completely transforms how your champions perform in battle, and is just one way that Raid's gameplay is constantly being updated. Now here's the big news. Raid has just released a super-powered legendary version of everybody's favorite champion, Death Knight. The whole Raid community has been waiting for this for a long time, and Ultimate Death Knight is everything we hoped for. The best part is, everyone can get him for free. Just log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and October 27th, and you'll get Ultimate Death Knight. Use the DK Rises promo code for a bunch of free items to instantly level your new strongest champion all the way to level 50. If you're a new new player and you want to try out Raid, use my link or scan the QR code right here to download Raid to your mobile phone or PC. Doing so will also get you a free starter pack worth almost $30. This will include a free champion, Tyrell, and this cool in-game loot. You'll find these rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. So go ahead and scan that QR code, otherwise you're just gonna have Tyrell waiting around on you, and that's just kinda rude. Okay. Once again, I want to thank Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video, and let's begin. Please subscribe. Oh god, okay, so Sniper Wolf went up a banned roller coaster? I mean, that can't be good, right? You'd think if it was banned, it'd probably be banned for good reason, you know? Might not be safe, might need some repairs, who knows? Now, the first eight minutes of this video is just the guy commentating about the most normal things ever, talking about how crazy carnival and fair rides are, and it's like, oh my god, check out this insane roller coaster reaction, and it's, and it's just people on a roller coaster. But come on, that's not what we're really here for. We want to see the banned roller coaster that Sniper Wolf went on. I mean, there's so many questions. How did she get on it? Is she going to survive? Is it safe? We're about to find out. Finally, at number one, we have a clip from Sniper Wolf, where she goes on a really strange water ride that doesn't seem dangerous at first, but is actually super insane and risky to get on. So let's get right into it. Get off here! Oh! Escaped! Escaped! Who escaped? You're stuck! Stuck 
Uh, yeah. This is what the entire channel is like. A water ride that doesn't seem too dangerous at first, but is actually super insane and super risky to go on. She's playing in a pool with her dogs. I mean, this is some next level stuff right here. This is a complete loss of shame. There is no sort of redemption here. There's not even like an okay, technically, technically the title is true, but it's misleading factor. Like he didn't even say water slide. He says roller coaster in the title. I mean, I could have at least given you some props if you said water park or water slide, but you said roller coaster. And then you show a clip of her in like a four foot pool with a giant floaty and it's super risky and super insane. I honestly don't think there's any worse clickbait on this platform. All right, let's just really take a moment here and appreciate this thumbnail. I honestly don't think I've ever seen a better Photoshop job ever. So this is another one of the three that this guy seems to really like to make videos about. If you scroll through his channel, you'll see all of his videos are either about Sniper Wolf, Alfmau, or Jojo Siwa. Why this channel seems to have such an obsession with these three, I really don't know. My my guess is at one point they had a video about each one of these people do really well, and they've been chasing that high ever since. But let's see how angry Alfmau can get. Finally, at number one, we have Alfmau, and if you're a fan of her, you definitely know just how nice she is. But one day she was playing Minecraft with her friends when a few of them decided to do this nasty prank on her, and she ends up going crazy. Trust me, you guys have never seen her react like this, so make sure you keep on watching until the end. She's really angry. <laughs> Don't worry, Alfmau. Don't worry. We're gonna make you have the most happy and not angry day ever. Smiling yet? No, I'm angry. More, more, more. We need I, to do I more. I will not let any. Oh. oh. <laughs> Don't uh, other ways to make Afma happy. See, I, I don't know if I can do it. I mean, I well, I can. Wow, what an insane reaction. She almost said 10 words. And this doesn't even make sense. I'm sure you could find a video where Alfmau blows up a Minecraft house or something. But for the video where you go through the trouble of photoshopping a fake angry Alfmau, you don't even pick a video where she's the one blowing up the Minecraft house? Really? Now this next one I'm really not hopeful for. At first I thought maybe... Maybe that Sniper Wolf would have like a shark floaty or something in her pool, but the more I watch these, the more I realize that the titles don't even have to make sense for them to upload them. Like they have no shame whatsoever. They will upload anything with any title, regardless of how little correlation it has. So I don't even think that there's going to be a mention of a shark in the video that Sniper Wolf's in. I think at absolute best, she'll be reacting to like a video of an aquarium. No shark in the aquarium, by the way, just an aquarium. I think what we should be expecting is maybe a pool, but that still might be pushing it too far. Finally, at number one, we have Sniper Wolf, and in this clip, she did a duct tape challenge where she basically made a bridge above her swimming pool made out of duct tape. And as you would expect, it's really flimsy, but the craziest part is what's waiting for her in the pool if she ends up falling. So without spoiling much, let's roll the clip. Guys, very sturdy. He's not ripping, and it's been sitting in the sun for like over an hour it has time to like melt into the ground just hope i don't have to don't hit my head on that this is the deep side of the pool too i can't I mean, is that what's waiting for her, the deep side of the pool? Because I don't see anything in this pool. I mean, this has got to be like the worst job ever. You are a professional liar. Your occupation is lying to and misleading children. So you might have to help me if I drown. As you can see, the duct tape bridge is really unstable, but you won't believe what happens next, so make sure you keep watching this clip until the very end. Why have I snapped? Let's make it to the end before they snap. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> Oh, it worked though. Actually, Linksy, I actually do believe what just happened. I am not in disbelief that a duct tape bridge did not hold the weight of a human. That is actually something I can believe. All right, so this next and final one is definitely the worst offender. It's the most in poor taste video we've seen so far. Sure, saying somebody got flung off a roller coaster is not exactly great taste either, but it's not taking advantage of somebody like Sniper Wolf actually falling off a fair ride. It's just bad.
bad clickbait, but this next one, seven YouTubers that barely escaped alive, sort of does, not really, but sort of. You'll see what I mean. Finally, at number one, we have Afmau, and in this clip, she's literally lying in a hospital bed and talking about what happened to her and why she's there. It's literally not seen her like this, but you will be shocked after hearing what happened to her, so make sure to watch until the very end. Hey guys, Jess here, and it is morning. It's like seven o'clock in the morning on August 17th. And a lot of you guys seemed confused last time when I uploaded the vlog and I said it was like 2 a.m. at night. Um, you guys had thought that I was like 2 a.m. at night at the time of the upload, which is not true. Vlogs are usually recorded a few hours before they're posted, just so you guys know, or maybe a day before they're posted or something. All right, so now's the part where she explained what happened to her and why she went to the hospital. It's super crazy, you won't believe it. Let's roll the clip. Is anything ever not super crazy, Linksy? I mean, this is an example of the boy who cried wolf. When everything is crazy, it starts not being crazy anymore. It's kind of like me and using the word worst. So I'm guilty of this too. But seriously, stop saying everything is extremely insane and risky. A few medical things that happened with me. And um, yeah, I wanted to let you all know that for the next couple of days, like maybe two or three, there's not going to be any videos coming out. Mostly because we didn't have a backlog. Uh, we were just catching up and then crazy medical things happened. But anyway, I wanted to let you all know that I'm doing perfectly fine, don't worry, but videos won't be happening for a few days until I get better, or maybe sooner, depending on when they release me, but we'll see. So that's the entire video, and thankfully, it doesn't seem like anything too bad happened, but whoever's in charge of this channel saw a person lying in a hospital bed, and their first thought is, how can I exploit this and use it to make money by deceiving children? I mean, how do you get to that point? I mean, I really don't know how these channels still exist. I thought clickbait was, like, kind of against the YouTube guidelines, and I know sometimes it's a gray area because of technicalities and stuff, but most of the titles on this channel are just straight up lies. How does that fly? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.